Yodels and welcome to TFI Cut Tips. Okie dokie, what am I doing here? Reet, I was over on Pluralsight doing me thing. I'm doing a training course over on Pluralsight and I came across a problem, fixed it on the fly and thought, you know what, that's a, that's a really nice little niche tip that I can put on TFI Cut Tips. It's exactly what the channel's for, little niche small tips which you can sort of stick in the bank and use later on. Because this is one of those tips where you probably don't need to use it now, but... Stick it in the bank for later on, and uh, if you think to yourself, Neil, mate, just shut the hell up and tell me how I can get this model in my life, because it's absolutely beautiful. And you're right, you're right. This is a sexual as balls model. It's an RC helicopter, and it is it is a phenomenal model to play with. It really is. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. It looks beautiful. It works beautiful. It's built well. It's got dynamic simulation in there. The constraints, from what I've seen, are pretty well put together. And I found it on GrabCAD, of all places. So go across to... Oh, oh and by, oh, yeah, just whilst I remember, I'm giving away a 3D mouse, for Christ's sake. Will you get me to 10,000 subs so I can give away this 3D mouse already? Go to the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and then drop a comment down below, for goodness sake, so I can give this damn 3D mouse away. Anyway, GrabCAD, there's the link there. It's the uh, yet another RC Heli model from Konstantin Metyova Dieva Him. That's the guy. A really well done. Well done model. Right, you free. Download it for free. And uh, it's all native inventor models, all proper IPTs and IAMs. It's brilliant, brilliant model. Uh, right, so the tip is, the tip is, what I was doing on my course, so I was, this is essentially how I, how I went about finding the problem. So I was opening up this component here. Uh, it's just a single IPT file on its own, little metal bar. And it's like a nickel texture. And I was like, yeah, you know, you can open the parts, blah, 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 blah. And you, if you want to change the color of them, you can cl click this drop down up here. And then you click the color. So if you want to make it black, you can click glossy black, for example, which is, uh, where's glossy black? There it is. And bugger all happened. <laughs> I was like, why? So I stopped the video and started again, figure out what the problem was. So I was like, oh, is it because the feet, is, is it the, ex is the features been given? No, the feature hasn't been given an override. What about the main body? Is that been given? No, that's as body. Mm. What about the solid body here? The entire part? Has that been given an override? No. Ah, why? And basically what's happened, for some reason, I don't know why. I, I don't know why this has happened. It's not something you should ever do, but somebody, whoever has made this part, has been to the, each of these faces, every single face, right went right clicked on it went to properties and given it a facial override you shouldn't ever do that there's yeah you can you can give a face an override but only really when there's like one-off faces like for example if the part is supposed to be nickel but maybe these two internal faces here are painted black then then yeah yeah you give it a facial override and say make that whatever yeah just make it a different color you're not meant to make the entire part <laughs> a certain color from a facial override it's just stupid because now if you want to change the color of the part the entire thing you have, you have to click every single goddamn face holding down the control key I, I, nobody got time for that i'm not doing that the hell with that so i to think of a way of doing it so you go to you go to thing for multi-select and stuff is to hold down the left mouse button and then drag away no <laughs> no not happening uh, so i thought right well how do how do we get around this how do i make this entire part a different color without having to go to every single face. So to do that, what you do is you click this button here, right? Which you've probably stared and your eyes have passed many times, but you've just not really registered what it does. So you click clear, which is this button here on the top toolbar. And then you get this little sort of inconspicuous toolbar up here. You click select all, and then you click tick. And then that clears the facial override on all faces. And then you can select the drop down list. And then now when you go to the color of glossy black or whatever it is you want to change it to, the facial override is no longer there, therefore the global override will now take effect and you can change the colour of the component which will then appear in the assembly as black. There you go, there you go. What you could have done, I suppose, what you could have done is select the part and then change the, well, give it an assembly level override which which would have worked as well, but I didn't, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it in the part. I don't like giving assembly overrides because what if you've got it placed in a hundred times? You'd have to do that a hundred times. Yeah, the hell with that as well. So that's it. That's the tip. Very niche tip. Like I said, you won't need to use this now. It's one to stick in the bank and use for later on. Uh, but that's how to clear the facial override on a component if you ever need to. So, yep, go to GrabCAD if you want this model. It is a beautiful model. Like I said, it's got dynamic simulation in there. You can pull down, you know, go to the dynamic simulation player, press play, and it'll start moving. You can go to the grapher and check out the torques and the acceleration and all the forces and stuff. Wonderful model. Brilliant model.
hats off to the guy that did this because it's uh, even though it's a royalty free, I think he deserves some credit for for this model. Even if he's, I think he might have imported it from another CAD packet, so someone else might have done it originally and he sort of converted it into Inventor. But still, he's done a brilliant job with it. So that's it. Thank you very much. Go and check out that bloody 3D mouse giveaway. I need to give away that 3D mouse in a hurry. Sitting on my shelf doing nothing. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, do so. You can drop a like on the video if you want to. Comment and all that. You know, you know the deal. You know the deal. All right. See you later. Toodles.